thank you uh, for chairman. Uh, good morning, everybody. <laughs> okay, once again, good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. So I will explain here uh, what is our activity in the uh, in NTU because we have uh, Rotary's corporate lab here. So mainly my uh, what is I saw is the result of from our research here. So the title of our presentation today is uh, Challenge in Power Engineering. So I don't know where uh, how many percent of us in uh, power engineering here. Oh, it's very few. Uh, usually, is power engineering is not so interesting for people because they are not talking about uh, uh, internet or IoT, whatever it is. But without power engineering, I think all of us will complain. Let me have uh, some example. If you have a mobile phone and then you cannot connect it, you will say, oh, I don't have signal, it's okay, it's fine. But if our room, for example, light here turn off, all of us will be complaining. Why? What happened with this? This is happened in our life because power engineering already serves us with very good things. Sometimes we forget how we innovate in this area. So I will show to you uh, what is challenge in the power engineering here. So I will uh, have some presentation here about uh, what is more electric technology here. And then uh, what we have uh, activity in NTU is uh, innovation in high power density converter. And then I will uh, also some have slides some uh, about our corporate lab and then make a conclusion. So let's say more electric technology. So when we talk about more electric technology, this is like a Prius, it's a hybrid car. Uh, uh, we can found uh, now in taxi in Singapore also a hybrid car, and then there is a hybrid uh, train also in Germany, for example. And then you, if you use this uh, Boeing 787, this uh, uh, ANA or other uh, uh, aircraft company, or also like a vessel here. And uh, some of the futuristic for the future that uh, our company Rolls-Royce also is very, very, very intense for this, like uh, what we call a ship intelligence, this unmanned uh, uh, vessel. So we have uh, very uh, good research in air also here. And another is uh, about uh, the future of aircraft, the future of aircraft. You will have uh, aircraft with uh, what we call is distributed propulsion. So a lot of electrical machine will be in the, in the wing of the aircraft here. So for this, need electrical power engineer to make it change. Because uh, believe me, to make a Prius, you don't only need uh, internet people, but you need somebody who make uh, change the, uh, the system here to become hybrid. So uh, for example, here you can see when you go to the hybrid vessel, what I saw here is uh, one of the product of Rolls-Royce also. They have some system, uh, this is the propeller here coupled with uh, the diesel engine here and then another is there is some uh, system here that is uh, coupled here also, there is electrical motor here. And this is also electric train and then, then uh, change in the propeller, not propeller like this, it's coupled with the diesel engine here, but some uh, propeller that is uh, entire with the, the machine, electrical machine directly. This is what we call this permanent magnet machine. And now this one is the, the, uh, the, the, the new thing in our company. And uh, in aircraft, I, uh, as I mentioned before, there is a trend in the distribution propulsion. What is distribution propulsion here? So later in the future, in your aircraft, you will have a lot of motor here. Why we use this? Uh, because uh, now is uh, the, the system that, for example, you have uh, one engine here and another engine here, this is gas turbine, but it is not so economical. So if you have uh, this kind of engine and then there is battery here and then there is uh, gas turbine, single gas turbine later to generate the power here, so it will be more effective and co uh, cost of the, the, the operation will be lower. So in the future aircraft, you can find this, uh, this, is, this is kind of the converter in the power that we know. This is, uh, this is the uh, power electronics here. Power electronic is something is little uh, different with electronic. What you think is power electronic is uh, 
uh, usually uh, the, the device there is function as like a switch turn off and off uh, like that not like op amp so this is will be in our technology in the future so when we go to the the more intelligent system definitely all this is we should be understand as well so uh, one of the key point here the equipment here you need to think is as light as possible because in aircraft is uh, especially for aircraft for example uh, weight is the major concern when you weight is uh, heavier it will be you consume uh, more fuel so that's why when you baggage for example and when you fly is uh, if you use a low case carrier it is only give you 20 kilogram because you not pay more if you pay more definitely you can bring more luggage so whatever technology there in aircraft beside the reliability you have to bring it as lighter as possible so one of the simple thing is uh, the converter here that you need to understand is a, a power electron converter here but this is only one simple this is how you drive this when you drive this con uh, uh, the converter for example to electric motor or whatever it is to make you electric vehicle or prius or uh, tesla do this definitely inside tesla there is a big technology what we call is power electronic there so this development of this technology is also happened in our company and then uh, definitely uh, go to high power density high efficiency high and reliability so we have some innovation in, uh, in NTU how to make it uh, lighter uh, power converter for example that we can use for more electric technology like in car like in ship or uh, in aircraft so less volume so you can have a uh, smaller and then less weight is as related to uh, kilowatt per kilogram so the size of this uh, so, uh, will be uh, small uh, smaller uh, in the future and then uh, to think about this uh, i actually i want to encourage uh, more of uh, the encourage uh, the graduate students here to understand about this because this is one of the the behind the technology iot so when you iot is mostly in how you connect it and then make it a system but be, be beside that you have to have some uh, basic technology for example if you say the electric car something like that you have to understand this so otherwise you cannot move forward you still use the mechanical things so uh, for this you need to understand like a power module heat sink and then filter something like that so uh, for example the power module you have to make it as small as possible and hissing as small as possible also how you to make it it should be the losses of the your converter as, uh, as small as possible so one of thing is the about the high speed switching here that is quite uh, this is quite technical things but uh, in in terms of the power electronic you have to understand this how you sh uh, switch your converter you have to get uh, as fast as possible here so you can have uh, some uh, switching here as low as possible if you switching uh, can be very fast uh, so your uh, inductor or magnetic component will be smaller and then the heat sink that you need also will be smaller so you can make a smaller converter that you can implement later in aircraft for example so uh, in in term of this we have a uh, uh, mapping also that uh, for the converter here that automotive needs this kind of the the, the performance uh, for example 10 kilowatt per kilogram but us in aircraft because mo mostly us we tied with some filter things and then the the power in the aircraft should be very clean uh, so you have to you have to uh, deal with this and that makes the power density of the converter then maybe uh, decrease uh, uh, in the uh, compared to automotive industry so we have uh, activity in, uh, in uh, our corporate lab in uh, NTU so I just want to show one thing this is how we design the three phase converter here uh, this is specification for example and then how we estimate this to make it more more uh, efficient and optimum you have some algorithm like this and then uh, you will get the minimum weight 
So you deal with all the technology like a power module, like a, a magnetic component, something like that, and then uh, heatsink. You you will get uh, some uh, algorithm, and then you can get uh, some uh, optimum design of the converter. So it's uh, like uh, topology of the converter also here, and then also the device. Device I want to emphasize here. Uh, maybe most of us understand about silicon, silicon device, but uh, uh, in in power uh, technology, power engineering, there is another uh, new device that they said wind bank up device. It's like a silicon carbide, gallium nitride, and diamond. Uh, so if you use this kind of the device, this will be uh, make all your converter higher higher performance. So at the moment, uh, silicon carbide gun is uh, come to commercialization, but diamond is still uh, in the in the research level. So you cannot, it's, it's hard to find in the market. But for silicon carbide, especially for high power, you can easily find it. And then uh, uh, a gun also for the lower voltage, you can find also in the in the market. So. Uh, this is what we call this wind bank up device here. So you have to understand also this uh, when you try to explore the technology in power engineering like uh, power electronics. And then how to choose this device like uh, silicon IGBT and silicon MOSFET. You have to understand uh, the on state resistance and get charge. Get charge. All of this, the intention is to make your uh, power converter as uh, optimum as possible uh, or as low as possible the load is there. So this is uh, also the filter. For the filter side, uh, inductor for example, you to design the filter is not easy. So you know, you should know the material also, the core material, what is the ferrite, nanocrystalline, and metal glass, fine metal, for example. So what is the benefit of this? And then you can, you can uh, compare all of this and then get uh, some uh, design and then you can make uh, some design this is for the high power density converter, for example. And then uh, after you have some uh, knowledge, for example, you can get uh, some calculation and then you can get, uh, oh, if I bring this converter, for example, I will get uh, this kind of weight or uh, and uh, I, I do this, uh, I will get this kind of weight, something like that. So uh, in our uh, lab, in our corporate lab in NTU, we have uh, some work-in prototype to level converter. Uh, we we testing is the converter first with the switching characterization, and then the, uh, after the switching characterization, we we design the gate driver, everything, and we testing also the the cooling system for the converter, because you need to maintain uh, in power uh, in uh, power converter you need to maintain the the temperature of the uh, the power module or in chip inside that. So it will not uh, uh, exceed uh, the perceivable temperature. Just the analogy for the simple is if you solder something, if you electrical engineer, you solder something, if the temperature is there is uh, too high, it will be melt later. So we don't want this kind of happen in the, in the converter. So you need some cooling system. So this can be uh, liquid, also can be uh, air force cooling or natural uh, system. And then uh, we have, uh, I think, uh, 2015. We already come with some prototype here. This is a very compact uh, converter. It's 50 kVA silicon high, uh, carbide high power density converter, and we run this uh, with 60 kilohertz. If you find, uh, uh, if you compare this with the market or in the available in the market, maybe the performance is uh, is uh, is quite quite high because it's, it's very hard to find this kind of performance in market. So to, to design this, uh, a lot of effort, you know, no, you have to know uh, especially how to uh, design a good PCB because you're working in the, the high switching frequency, uh, high voltage, for example. So when you have like this, the, the things that you can find is uh, the, uh, the Stray in that time or parasitic in that time. How make a good layout? You have to have this kind of background. 
So you need to learn about this. Is more more all of this about the hardware. You you have to uh, work with uh, dealing with hardware, and then in the uh, this is the performance is uh, 20 kilowatt per kilogram uh, kilowatt per, per liter and uh, uh, without uh, output filter here and then with fil uh, filter is 6 kilowatt per kilogram for example this and then this is some of the uh, inductance there that we testing here is temperature until uh, 130 uh, degree and then the efficiency is more than 97 percent so uh, Maybe in NTU, I don't know in the in the but I think so when we design this a lot of uh, appreciation from people in the NTU also about this because uh, not so many people so not so many lab do doing this kind of thing in NTU is main, mainly uh, designed this.